All right, welcome back to Jay Elquist TV. Uh, today we'll be talking about bow ties. All right, so let's start here. You can see this bow tie here is sized. So basically, what you do is you choose what size your neck is, and then you uh, you go from there. So I'll adjust this to my right neck size, and then we'll actually be using a Jay Elquist bow tie today uh, to kind of demonstrate how you tie it with Jay Elquist bow tie. You'll notice it is just a, uh, a slide. So what you do, as a rule of thumb, is if you own multiple bow ties, to make sure you get it right in case you're wondering, you can always just line it up to make sure it's the same size. And then we're good to go. All right? Um, if, you, if you've been tying bow ties long enough, you kind of have an idea of uh, what your neck size is and how it works. So give me a second to prepare myself here, pop the collar, and we'll get started. All right. So we lay, the t we lay the tie down, I'll adjust the camera for you. We lay the tie down like you do, uh, like you do any necktie. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the right piece, put it over to the left. And then what you'll do is you'll pull this, this piece here through and tighten up against that button so that the top piece is shorter than the long piece. All right, we're going to fold this to kind of create a hole here, which you see a little loop, and that's going to create the front of the tie. And then you'll take this back piece and pinch there with your thumb. You're going to bring this back piece up and over and create a hole with your thumb. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, fold it in half, exactly in half, and then take this loop here and then shove it through the hole where your thumb is. And this is actually the hardest part of tying a bow tie takes the most practice and this is where you can kind of go wrong by uh, accidentally pulling out some of the, the, the sides I guess. So give me a second here. And then what we'll look for is we have one, two, three, and four. So there's four total sides here. And what you'll notice when I let go is it kind of wants to spin. So I actually just spin it all the way around because it tends to uh, work better for me. Not everyone does that but it's a little, a little trick that works for me. So now what we do is we take the two sides that have loops, right? So you'll see here, loop there, loop there, and that's what you'll use to kind of make the bow tie tight. Uh, the other two sides that don't have loops, you have to be careful about to pull those out, otherwise you'll kind of have to start back at square one. So in the beginning, you kind of slowly just tug at the loops, and then to kind of bring it back to shape, you use the other two sides to kind of pull it back to shape. So you'll notice, tug at the loops, Grab the other two, pull back. Tug at the loops, non loops, pull back. And then you can kind of actually use your hands to keep the shape as you keep tugging here. You know, you keep your knot centered, so on and so forth. And you keep tugging. And then sometimes you'll feel you may just, you may pull this, uh, the, the non loop side too far in. You kind of have to reach in there and pull it back out. Tug. Pull back. And as you tug, you'll feel the knot get, the knot get tighter. And you keep going until you get to the point where it's tight enough to where you almost feel like you're there. Which is coming up here quickly. I can feel it. So from here, I actually want to pull my collar down, and then you can kind of see we have the shape of a tie there, and then we'll f finalize it by just pulling it tight, and I think one more pull, and we should be good, and there it is, right? So then you pull it all back into place, boom. And we have a bow tie. All right, so what we're looking for is one, two, three, four. And then remember that the two parts with the loops here are what we use to make the bow tie tight. The two other parts we use to keep it all to keep it all shaped. Make sure not to pull these out when you're tightening. Like that. One last pull. And your bow tie is spot on. What I love about bow ties is you can kind of go with your personality, right? You can kind of wear it 
Uh, you can go wear it crazy if your hair, you know, crazy hair day, whatever. Boom, bow tie can be crazy. You know, you slick and part your hair, get your toe, bow tie perfect. Just depends on what you're doing, depends on your personality, depends on your mood, and uh, and you can kind of go from there. If you have any other questions about how to tie a bow tie, you want me to redo it, uh, anything at all, feel free to email me at jd at jlquist.com. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.